Welcome to your weekday cup of the word here on this Friday morning. We're going to look at Proverbs chapter 2. Now Proverbs 1 said, look at the fool who has no wisdom and how his life turns out. Proverbs chapter 2 says, what would happen if you would just listen to wisdom? What if, what if you, you, you would carefully, attentively seek her out? How would your life turn out? You would have security. God would be your shield because all wisdom comes from God. God is the father of wisdom. And so all wisdom is, is from him. It's something pleasing to him. So you'd be pleasing to God. You'd be protected. And as you went through life, you'd be able to discern between, ah, that's a good decision and that's a bad decision. You'd, you'd be able to do it on the fly because you'd filled yourself with wisdom for those moments where the decision had to be made. You'd learn discretion. You'd learn when to keep your mouth shut because it gets you in trouble. And learn when to speak up because it was the time to be bold. It would keep you from those who would deceive you and ruin your life for their own gain. You'd see them coming a mile away and say, Ah, I want nothing to do with you. You are a shyster. It would also protect you, it says, from the strange woman. Now, when, uh, this is language you'll see throughout Proverbs, so let's take a second to talk about it. The strange woman isn't a woman who's weird. The, a strange woman is a woman who's not your woman. She's a stranger to you. In other words, you have your wife who is your, your woman, and then you have those women who are strangers to your soul. She, you've not made a vow to them. It would protect you from those lust-based uh, decisions that are very, very foolish and destructive. That's what wisdom would do if you would turn your ear and listen. If you would be quiet enough to gain it before acting. You have this life that was so much more pointed and aimed and purposeful and safe. That's the point of Proverbs. As you go through life, God wants you to have wisdom because he wants you to have a life well lived, a life that avoids pitfalls and traps, and, and a life that is full of joy and gladness because you avoid doing things that will hurt you because they were foolish. That's your Daily Cup, and we'll see you next week.